Every spring we put out fish traps to catch small newly hatched trout because we're trying to assess where the trout are and how many are hatching. And it's been a common observation for years that in those traps we will get sculpin. And some of those sculpin are substantially bigger than the whole of the trap. So the observation that intrigued me was this ability of sculpin to get into a space apparently smaller than its head. And what I needed was a student to work with who could have the knack of taking care of fish in the laboratory and watching behavior carefully. So it's what we call finding a student with a slimy thumb. So we began with the simple observation. That's how all science begins. What Harrison was able to do in the lab is turn that simple observation into a quantitative study where he was able to look at many sculpins in his tunnel that he developed and get an idea of how many of them ended up going into spaces smaller than their head. So his discovery was this ability of sculpins to compress their skull to get into a smaller space. And to the best of our knowledge, looking at the literature, nobody's actually looked at that ability for a fish to malform its skull. And then the eureka moment in some ways was, was Harrison's ability to find a method to actually quantify, to put it into numbers, so that he was able at the end of the day to come back to me and say, yeah, yep, you're right. They are getting into funnels smaller than their head. It's like, got it. Right, we can put numbers on that, and that's exciting.